In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a flow to follow up pending approval requests. In reality, based on the complexity, size of your org and number of records, it may well be more efficient to do this operation in Apex instead. So, I have already built a flow, which is a scheduled flow. The idea of the flow is that it's going to look for pending approval requests and then send a notification reminder to each pending request so that the current approver gets a nudge from the system. First up, I need to fetch the custom notification type. I'm then going to carry on to fetch process instance notes. This is used to represent kind of a step within an approval process. And I'm using a restrictive filter here to only fetch records that I need. Next up, we need to get the process instance steps I'm fetching all of the records. I am then going to fetch all opportunity records. We're now going to start looping around our fetched records. So first up, I want to loop around the pending approval requests. It's going to use the process instance steps that it fetched earlier and it's going to filter those so it's only then going to return the one step related to the process instance that is currently being looped around. So we're going to loop around this step and I'm going to assign some flow variables here. So the actor ID, in this case that's the user ID for which the approval is currently assigned and the target object ID. In this case, that is the opportunity ID related to the pending approval. Next up, I want to filter all of the opportunities I got earlier because I only care about the one where the ID equals the target object ID. That's the record that's currently in the approval process and I need to loop around this to grab the name of the opportunity. So next up, I'm performing another loop to loop around that filtered opportunity. And then I'm assigning the record name. So my variable in the flow equals the currently looped around opportunity, the name of that opportunity. Let's send the custom notification. This is formed of a number of different parts. So we're feeding in the custom notification ID we got at the beginning of the flow. We're then feeding in the notification body, a title, the actor IDs. So that's going to be the user that's currently assigned the approval and the target object ID. In this case, I want the notification to direct to the opportunity record. So the notification body here is a text template. And I'm using this to basically form a string for a piece of text that includes a number of variables within it. Opening the flow toolbox, the notification body you can see is made up of this text. At the end of the flow, the system sets actor ID back to null. Now when I debug the flow, you can see that it's gone through and hit every element on the canvas as expected. Now that we switch back to Salesforce, we can see on the notification bell, I've got a number of pending approval request reminders. And when I click on a reminder, I am directed to the opportunity record 